So from fashion, we turn our attention to DIY this morning and our very own DIY diva Zoe Brown shows us that a DIY project doesn't necessarily need to be very difficult to just look cool. And this morning, she goes green. Well, Christmas is around the corner and I really thought, you know, what can I get my friends this year? And I thought, what better way than going DIY style and making something that's memorable? Now, the fun thing about this DIY is you can really be creative and write down anything you want and do any pattern you want because we're going to be experimenting with some canvas art using fast setting wood glue and some spray paint to create something magical on our canvas and to use spray paint to create a 3D effect. For this project, all you need is a canvas, Alma's glue, spray paint, a pencil and a ruler. You can use a drop sheet to protect your work surface when spray painting. I want to write a quote that I think will be meaningful for the new year ahead. So I decided I'm going to start off by writing, dream, believe, do, repeat. That's going to be the motto for next year. So I used a pencil to make sure that everything is neatly spaced apart to just give myself an idea of where I'm going to be applying the glue. But you can really do what you want. If you want to draw a picture, if you want to do your own quote, that is completely up to you. If you're happy with your design, it's time to apply your glue. I'm going to start at the top because trust me, with my luck, I will smudge my entire thing. Your glue acts as your 3D ink, giving your inspirational quote or phrase depth on top of the canvas. If you do have a little smudge or smear, use a cloth to carefully wipe up the glue and then reapply as soon as possible. To get the glue to dry completely, it's best to leave it overnight if you can. Now that we've added our glue to our canvas, now we need you to just set it aside and let it dry properly before the real fun begins and we start spray painting. So welcome back. Now that our glue has dried on our canvas, as you can see, it's nice rock hard. Now the real fun can begin and we can start spray painting our canvas. Now I've put down a drop sheet already to make sure that we do protect any surface we will be working on because spray paint can get really, really messy. Now to get started, we're going to be using, I can choose any color. In fact, you can choose any color as well. But my friend, she really loves green, this lime green, and I think that's the color we should go with. First off, give your spray can a really good shake to make sure that you get the colors you need. Then, best tip when you are spray painting is the idea we want to create is a smooth paint. So we're going to start in the corner, actually just starting off the canvas, and then we're just going to keep spraying and try not to stop. So the whole idea is to keep going with a fluid motion. If you're feeling creative, you can create an ombre effect by layering two shades of the same color on the canvas, going from light to dark or inverse. Now, as you can see, my canvas is still looking a little bit streaky, so you'll repeat the process until your paint is nice and even. Don't forget to wait for your spray paint to dry between coats for a smooth, professional finish. So if you want to try this DIY, you can get all the things you need from your nearest builders, and all the steps will be found on our Expresso Facebook page, or you can get it on our website, expressoshow.com.